feel very, I'm still alive. How's that for an entrance? <laughs> um, okay, so I just want to go over something real quick. This is the first coil and this is basically done. Uh, these are sized down to be exactly seven grams, uh, the, the little roller pieces. This is my first, my first unit and I'm needing this Teflon to be a little bit bigger uh, to fit the new core I got. And yeah, I actually got the core. Um, so I'm making a new SCG that's going to be about a half inch wider and using all the uh, the gram scales and everything um, to keep it accurate I can make this space wider and keeping all four layers uh, the same weight. <gasps> the new core. Whew. That'll be in another video. <laughs> Does the copper this here is the copper that uh, d does the emitter coil for the SCG and this video is going to just be focusing on how I get this metal fabricated, how I get it made, uh, and then take it back to my lathe after it's been welded and then machine it into the precise part it needs to be. So uh, with that said, I'm going to open this box up. Then and then, uh, they'll get it rolled for me. And then I will take it to a shop down in Salem, Oregon. Uh, I think it's called G and S Machining. And they will weld this copper piece for me together, which will make the ring. They use copper as the weld, not, uh, not a solder joint or anything. They actually use real copper so that all this element stays copper. And then I take it back after it's been precisely welded and then machine on this lathe. So enough of my babbling, let's get to driving. Okay, hey guys. All right, hey guys. All right, I'm in the truck, just got in the truck. Got the parts, the copper, and then this here form, uh, which the copper ring, once they roll it, will go around. So, that be said, I am off to drive away. I gotta start looking at the camera. I'm off to drive away uh, to the place called Cairo out in Tigard, Oregon and have them take care of this copper ring. Driving responsibly, no texting, no long calls, keep my on the road. Driving responsibly. Okay, so I just dropped the material off. They didn't seem interested at all in having anything recorded. Uh, it's a really nice facility. A uh, gentleman helped me out and handed out the material to him to do another ring for me. So it'll be about one to two weeks. They're booked just like everybody, including myself, is booked up, booked out. Um, so once the ring is done, I'll come back here and uh, keep filming away and show it off. All right, so I just got word through an email that the copper ring is ready. Um, at a job right now, so I'm just gonna break off and go grab it since it's only like 12, 15 minutes away from me. And here it is. So, this is how I received it along with the other piece. <sighs> Toss it in the back. So they leave a gap um, so that it can be welded. And I just take this to the store down, uh, Salem area, and get this welded. Uh, but these guys did a good job. It's all nice and true. Last time I stuck the other one on the lathe, it was it was almost 100% accurate. So kudos to Cairo, uh, metal metal forming, metal bending here in Tigard, because uh, they did a good job. Okay, I'm back in the shop with the band. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, pry this apart so I can get the inside out. So this copper is really soft. And uh, I'm not sure what those guys did. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the stickiness there. Yeah. Well, they kept it really nice. Pretty cool. Three, it's thick. All done right. Uh, I want to get the magnets and actually put them in here. So you can see it's down below the band. It's down below, obviously. 
Um, but this, you know, this gets sized down. Because those magnets stand at two and a quarter inches. This is my goal for this video, for this segment. Just put these in. And basically show how I get the uh, copper line. Now these obviously have been demagnetized, otherwise you wouldn't be able to put them together without them slamming shut or repelling each other. Now it's a considerable gap. Okay. Well, bigger gap than I thought. That's probably because I oversized this a little bit, which means I just mill out the inside, and that's fine. But these guys, they can uh, fill in the copper. You can see there's a nice, nice size gap right there. And they just fill that sucker in. So, what I do is find a piece of metal that'll go right in here uh, to approximate the gap. I'm gonna make it a hair tighter. And then uh, these guys will weld it with copper to this. Uh, same size of gap. Probably close it down a little bit. Looks really nice. Really happy with this. Really happy with this. Call just a few days ago from GNS Machine, and that the copper ring is finally done. It's welded, so I'm going to walk in here and get my hands on it, pay for it, and uh, show it off. And here we be. So they, they overfilled the weld, which is really good. And I can grind that down to exactly what I need. I did a good job. So it's pretty uh, I don't know, tarnished, I guess. But that'll all go away because I'm going to turn it on the lathe and uh, clean the whole thing up. But yeah, they did a good job on that. And it stayed nice and true uh, according to the form. Form fits, uh, once, once that welds clean up, the form will fit in. But look at the circumference in regards to this, it's just like dead on. So they did a marvelous job. Start grinding away on the weld joints. Um, once the weld joints are pretty good, uh, pretty close, I'm gonna stick this little girl on the lathe and uh, sand it, polish it, and then start turning on the inside till the magnetic layer fits in. Here we go. So this is a cool little trick I've learned. Candle. Grinder. What that does is the grinder belongs like the blade. Just a, yeah, you can see, coats it pretty well. Um, this melts off the moment it gets hot, but it, it prolongs the teeth, makes them sharper, or sharper. I don't know. Cuts better, that's all I know. Okay, here we are. All right, this is close enough. This looks more polished than it is. I only use 60 grit. I'm gonna go for the inside. This one's a lot more smaller. Um, and then I'll just do the rest in the lathe. So, you can see here there's kind of a yeah, you can kind of see that on it. Um, I'm going to turn this one off on the lathe. Uh, this gets sized down an inch and a quarter. This is two and a half thick. So it's good to bring you, you're going to bring it down. All right. Good enough for me. I'm going to stick this on the lathe now. Alright, well, it took a little while to get this thing situated right. Kind of a pain in the 
but um, they're basically to get some, it's an eight inch chuck, four jaw. Uh, they're not independent, they're all, uh, they all hook to each other. I don't know what board is. Anyway. So I jammed this with the uh, drill bit holder and then uh, lined up, lined this up so when it's spun, it's spun the perfect truth. Um, one thing I'll note, I just want to give a big thanks to WD 40 for this wonderful product. Got the hardware store. Focus, please. Um, so it's white lithium, protective white lithium grease. Awesome product. Uh, I tried cutting on, let's see, the surface area. So I just you don't want to start off with a flat area. And uh, I started off with a fresh, clean carbide bit. And it just seemed like it was scratching into the copper. But when I sprayed this, I just sprayed a little bit onto the bit. Um, let me just cut this stuff like butter. I went at the highest RPM for this copper, and it turned out uh, literally a near finish. With no sanding, just 50 miles. hooked up the dial indicator readout so that this side that's all cut and nice and straight uh, when I flip this around I measure this and it's only off like three one thousand of an inch it's basically nothing um, so now I, I cut a nice smooth line on this so it's going to be exactly uh, 2.24 inches I'm giving a little bit of leeway because uh, the magnets are not exactly accurate um, so I marked it with layout, Daikin Steel Blue Layout Fluid, awesome stuff, it's basically just quick dry ink. Um, so I marked it with the, the calipers, uh, this little girl's going away, right. so I'm going to run this, cut it out, and be right back. Two two five eight. I'm happy with that. Two two five nine. Two two five seven. Two two five six. It's quick. It's good. Not as quick. Whatever. It's good. I like it. I'm upset with that. Uh, the inside and the weight is what specifically matters to me the most. One thing I do on this piece while I'm working on it is constantly be checking the weight. And as I'm cutting, I make a few little slices, uh, cuts, and then come back to scale and check it. I got this sheet, so I mark my progress. This is my target weight. It's what all the magnets weigh. It's what the Teflon will weigh. It's what the center core will weigh. So I started about right here and just been marching down. I don't even know what that's about because it doesn't weigh that. <laughs> so. I'm going to just do the final. This is the last uh, cut with the lathe I'm going to be doing. Okay, stop. And uh, so I'm just going to be doing uh, final sanding because we're looking at about 50 grams. It ain't going to take much to sand off. And then I can dial it in with 1500 grit to get it exactly at 28, uh, 48 grams. So it was a little bit naughty. <laughs> I had to adjust this chuck. So. <laughs> I spent some time and notched these guys all out with the grinder and then did the final probably hours worth of work. You know, it's almost easier probably cutting titanium than this stuff. I've done titanium and this was, it's heat treated steel. So uh, it wasn't fun. But I dyed them all in so that I can fit the, uh, I fitted in the copper right in here. That way I could, uh, I worked on the outside, then dialed in the inside, then flipped it around and then worked on the outside again to get the, everything true. All right, this is 
where it starts to get a little dicey. I did a few more cuts on the lathe actually because it just wasn't washing down quick enough. So here, here, down here, seven grams away. Actually six and a half. <sighs> okay, so it's getting close. I'm using a 220 grit. So seven grams ain't gonna take long. So I'll continue on with a little bit and then I, I probably within two grams, I'm gonna start like the 800 and 1500 and 3000 and then final polish. You can really dial it in with 1500 grit. I mean, it, <laughs> this gets scary. Well, this is what it's gonna be. This thing is polished the crap out of it, uh, as you can see in the video. So I actually went, these are the magnets. The measurement, or the weight, I'm sorry, the weight is actually uh, uh, 2851.6. So I'm glad I double checked that instead of going like three grams below. So now as you see it's 2851.2. It went up. Um, I'm gonna leave it. It's close, it's in with uh, 0.4 grams. <laughs> so what the heck, this is the best I can do. <sighs> this was tense. This is, uh, this is, I've been here like all day working on this darn thing. So I'm gonna leave it, it's good. Um, this has a little ink. Oh, look at this, weird, okay. 0.3 grams off. I'm going to take the ink off with some dissolving agent and then call good. There is going to be absolutely no more work. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm on a concrete floor. So anyway, <coughs> um, this will be dissolved. <sighs> uh, just uh, okay. It's climbing. <gasps> <laughs> there we go! Hit it! Yeah! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm done with this. So I'll put the magnets in it and take a shot. It's pretty wild how the copper ages. So this one was done, I think, about three years ago. And it's been sitting here. It's still very polished. You can see my reflection in it. It's very polished, but the air has certainly tinged it. This is brand new cut. Uh, this actually has more orange. This has, seems to have more red. But it's the same copper. Well, if you've enjoyed this video as much as I've labored and I've enjoyed making it, you know, it took the whole Saturday. But if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, um, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel because uh, more is coming. The next video is going to be about the Teflon inner ring for this baby. Uh, that ought to go quite a bit faster since it's just plastic. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.